Hello students, welcome back. In the previous two videos of trees, uh, we have seen introduction to trees and terminologies of trees in the first video. In the second video, we have seen a representation of trees in which we saw list representation, left child, right sibling representation and representation as degree to tree. Now, in this third video, we will discuss about binary trees. So binary tree are categorized by the fact that any node can have at most two branches. That means binary tree is a tree in which any node can have at the most two children. So if this is the node, if this is if this is your node, just one second. So this was your normal tree, okay, this was your tree, some hierarchical representation, something like this. Now binary tree means any node can have maximum of two children, okay, I can have maximum of two children, it can have one child or maximum two children, I cannot have a third child over here, then this will not be a binary tree okay so with this background let us look at the definition of binary tree binary tree is a finite set of nodes that is either empty or it consists of a root mode root node and two disjoint binary trees so it will have a root node and two disjoint trees this is your root two children node here now these child uh, children can be either uh, a tree subtree or it can be a leaf node okay so this is called as left child or left subtree this is called as right child or right subtree so we'll have to use these terminologies any uh, child here which is to the left is called as left child or left subtree and to the right it is right child or right subtree. Now there was there is another thing here. This this was tree. Okay, this was tree. So if you want to convert a tree into a binary tree, then I should or it is possible by converting that tree into this particular representation. Okay. So just let me take you back to the previous slide where we had converted a tree to a binary tree we have done this already in the previous video so this was your tree wherein there are three children here for a which is b c and d this is converted to binary tree with this left child right sibling representation meaning binary tree means what a tree which can have maximum of two children so if you look at it like this so see every node has maximum of two children okay that is what this last point here is saying any tree can be transferred into a binary tree by left child right sibling representation okay so hope you have understood what is binary tree in short in binary tree each node can have at most two children just remember this okay now binary trees can be uh, categorized into some types uh, there are two types which are uh, shown here or binary trees can be of these two types there is a third category also we will we'll come to that a bit later so third category is nothing but it is uh, full binary tree okay full binary tree we will go to this point it later so let us see what is this skewed binary tree first okay so skewed binary tree is a tree which is skewed to the left or to the right. So this A here, this uh, tree here is a skewed tree, okay, meaning it has only left children or it can have only right children, something like this. So this is skewed tree, okay. So I can classify this skewed trees further into two categories, which is left 
skew tree and right skew tree so if a tree is consisting of only left sub trees then it is left skewed tree okay and if a tree has only right sub trees then it is called as right skewed binary tree okay so it is skewed tree now next is complete binary tree what is complete binary tree a binary tree is complete binary tree if all levels except the last level have maximum numbers of nodes okay so this if you see or i will repeat the definition once again a binary tree is a complete binary tree if all levels all levels except the last level except the last level are full so that means what there should be full elements at this level at this level at this level this level even if it is not full it is okay now what do you mean by level level are just some numbers which are given we have seen this in uh, terminologies so root is considered to be at level number 1 the next that is the children of root are considered to be as level 2 and so on this level 3 level 4 level 5 and so on okay these are levels so maximum number of nodes to find maximum number of nodes at any node i can i can have 2 to the power i minus 1 okay this i can use this to find the maximum number of nodes for example let us see at third level so third level meaning the value of i is 3 minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is nothing but to the power 2 which is nothing but 4 so at level i meaning level 3 there should be four elements then it is considered as full so do we have four elements here 1 2 3 and 4 so correct right so this is a complete binary tree okay and there is another point here all nodes at the last level must appear from the left okay there is another thing here all the nodes at the last level so this is the last level the nodes my nodes must appear from the left i cannot just have a element somewhere here that is not then it is not a complete binary tree okay and then the third category here c which i was saying was what full binary tree now what is that nodes at each level are complete so even in the last node so if this tree uh, or if i have to give a example of full binary a uh, full binary tree then i should have some nodes over here also okay meaning what the last level also should be four at the last level that is fourth level also i should have elements which are 2 to the power 4 minus 1 okay whatever is the last level 4 minus 1 is nothing but 3 2 to the power 3 is nothing but 8 okay so at the last level there should be eight nodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so this if i have these nodes then this is called as full binary tree is that clear so these are the three uh, special kind of binary trees next we will look at some more properties which are uh, discussed with respect to binary trees so for that i will just draw a tree of some nodes over here so so let us look at the these properties so first thing it is telling us something about uh, the first lemma is telling us something about the maximum number of nodes okay maximum number of nodes so the maximum number of nodes on level i so this is level number 1 level number 2 level number 3 and level number 4 so if i have to find maximum number of nodes at any level of a binary tree it is given by this particular thing which we have just now seen so if i have to find elements at level number 3 i say 2 to the power 3 minus 1 which is nothing but 2 to the power 2 which is nothing but 4 so elements at this maximum elements possible at this level is given by 2 to the power i minus 1 okay 
second point here is the maximum number of nodes in a binary tree of depth k depth is nothing but again this say level only you can say so maximum number of nodes in a binary tree of depth k is 2 to the power meaning this this is what nodes in the binary tree the first point was nodes at a particular level okay so at third level there are four elements that way what are the number of what are the maximum number of nodes in a binary tree of depth k so depth of this tree is what the highest possible path here or the maximum level only is nothing but depth so depth of this tree is 4 okay maximum level is nothing but the depth or the longest path so this is the first element second element third element fourth element so this is the depth 4 okay as i said you can take this highest level only as depth now the maximum number of a binary tree is given by 2 to the power k minus 1 so let us find the maximum number of nodes possible in this particular tree it is given by 2 to the power of k k is nothing but depth depth here is 4 minus 1 2 to the power 4 is how much 16 minus 1 that is 15 so maximum number of elements in this tree or in this binary tree which has depth k k is nothing but 4 is 15 okay so i have i can have maximum some elements here okay say maximum i can have four more six more elements here so 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 that is what this number says the maximum number of nodes in a binary tree of depth k okay so the second point is clear next there is another point or another property given uh, which is discussing something about the relation between number of so in in binary tree there is some relation between the number of leaf nodes and degree to nodes so degree is something which uh, hope you remember degree is what total number of subtrees attached to the node is called as degree of a node so if this is a node okay if there are three uh, this obviously is not a binary tree but let us try to understand what is degree so degree is nothing but number of nodes attached to this particular node so degree of this node is three because there are three nodes connected here so in binary tree anyways the maximum degree or highest degree possible is two okay because any node will have maximum two children so that that was about degree so uh, let us read this once again relation between so this particular property is telling us something about uh, relation between the number of leaf nodes and degree to nodes okay so say i will draw some tree here there is a root node and say there are some nodes okay this is this is a node which has degree 2 this is a node which has degree 2 this is a node which has degree 2 this is a node which has degree 0 so let us look at this particular point now for any non empty binary tree t if n naught is the number of leaf nodes so n naught is nothing but leaf nodes n naught is nothing but leaf nodes so how many leaf nodes are here 1 2 3 and 4 so leaf nodes are 4 and n2 is number of nodes of degree 2 n2 is nothing but number of nodes of degree 2 so number of nodes of degree 2 here are 1 2 and 3 so the relation between these two things that is number of leaf nodes and degree to nodes is this particular thing over here okay so let us see if we get the same thing so i just rewrite it n naught is equal to n2 plus 1 n naught is what 4 n3 is 
3 plus 1. So we have. So this is say uh, one thing to check if a given tree is binary tree or this is a property. Okay. I can even have a skew tree, something like skew tree is also a binary tree, right? So I can even check for this. So uh, how many number of leaf nodes are there here? There is only one leaf node here. So it is one. How many nodes with degree two? There is nothing. So this is zero. I will just rewrite this particular statement. N naught is equal to N2 plus one. N0 is what 1, 0 plus 1, so 1, 1. So this is some, uh, it is sh showing some relation between the number of leaf nodes and degree 2 nodes. Okay. So this slide is just showing us about uh, the full, uh, we, we have already seen this. So, yeah. So I, I think the video is getting large so i will just try to uh, the video is getting long so i will try to uh, take this video with this binary tree representations so we can represent binary tree into two ways in the memory which are array representation and linked representation so we'll discuss this in the next video thank you